Hi, I'm Scott Farrell. Uh, somebody asked me the other day, what do I do about getting frustrated all the time? And I turned into Mr. or Mrs. Furious. I'm not going to give a super spiritual answer for this one. This is more behavioral. Um, set the expectation. That's it. Set the expectation. Now, what is the expectation? Let me give you an example. I live in the Atlanta area. I know it's going to be kind of trafficy most of the time anywhere. And, and I'm 55 miles outside of the epicenter. Still, it's crowded. So my expectation when I leave my home is it's going to be trafficy. Therefore, I don't have an unreal expectation and get frustrated. See, I would get frustrated if I said, it's going to be empty. There's not going to be anybody on the road. I'll, be, I'll get there in no time. Well, if you live in a major metropolitan area, that's foolish because it's not going to be true. So I set my expectation. It's probably going to be crowded. It's going to take me a little extra time. There's going to be more traffic. There's going to be lights. Okay, now I'm ready to go. And I've worked through this. Another example, dealing with people. Chances are you've been with the crowd you hang out with. You understand the behavior patterns. You understand what's coming. So set your expectation to what's coming. Job. If it's a new job, you don't really have an expectation other than training. Let's say it's an established job. You know the people, you know the job, you know the clients, you know the vendors, so you can set your expectation. Frustration comes from, most of the time, not all the time, an unreal expectation. So when you get somewhere with someone, your expectation doesn't match the action. So you get frustrated. Understand, I mean, I used to be horrible at a lack of setting the expectation with reality when I was younger. Not anymore. Now I just assess what, what I'm getting ready to do, whether I'm out in public, at home, with my wife, with our friends, as a pastor in my church, with parishioners, with clients, because I also have a coaching consulting business that I do during the week, and I match my expectation with reality. You're going to get frustrated every single time your expectation does not match a reality. So stop doing it. So now, just look through your life. Okay, this coming week, I'm going to be put in the following situations. Maybe it's new ones. Maybe it's old ones. What's my expectation based on reality and based on the facts? And now I can set how I'm going to negotiate or navigate this situation. If you'll do that, you'll watch frustration just dissipate. But until you match your expectation with reality, you're going to stay frustrated. So it's up to you. Whichever way you want to do. If you want to be Mr. and Mrs. Furious, you can do that. But if you want to be calmer and more relaxed and enjoy life and get through the day without being angry and frustrated and confused and upset, then just match the expectation with the facts. And life gets so much better. If you have any questions, you can go to my website, scottferrell.com. Let me spell that for you. S-C-O-T-F-E-R-R-E-L-L.com. Take care. I'll see you next time.